Hey guys, Tim here, aka VS Custom, SoCrawl.com. Now, the G6 is coming up, and uh, I know I'm pretty pumped about that. It's going to be a fun time. I mean, I'm going there, what, Friday night, Friday afternoon, camping out to Saturday, running the event, and then uh, camping out again Saturday night until Sunday. So, I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys out there, and I hope you have a big turnout. The weather was looking a little bit iffy there at the start, but... I'm hoping it holds off, I'm hoping it looks good, and I'm hoping we have a sunny time. Now, if you guys haven't looked at the page or for the event info, there's three mandatory things we, we gotta have on our rig. I mean, it's called moose on the loose. So, we're looking for stuff that you'd need to, if you were going moose hunting. So, you know, obviously, some scale rope, a gun, and who goes into the woods without a map? Now, of course, these look like just pieces of paper. But these are actually scale maps. Uh, a good guy, Tim Arctic, made these up. But you could easily do these on your printer. Just print them off. All you do is fold them back and forth like an accordion. A little stuck on your dash. Away you go. Now you got a scale map in your rig. Now I wanted to talk about a couple extra things. You know, people were saying, oh, I don't have a lot of scale items. You can make them. I mean, this rope is out of... Just grab right here. It's made from that. You pull one of the threads off. Now you have... Your rope, it's perfect. You tie it together at the top, done. It's got perfect loops to it. Bundle of sticks, I mean, here's an easy, easy scale item on any truck. You basically take a, a stick, not too big in diameter, that big right there, chop it up into four pieces. This is only two of them there, and, and, and you know, two pieces that long, and that's it. Now I got my bundle of sticks. Now it looks like I'm ready to really go camping. Now one of the other items is a gun. Now. I, maybe some guys can make guns. I really didn't think about it. I had one from a Wraith. I don't, don't. I never understood why the Wraith came with two guns, a sniper and a shotgun, but whatever. I'll use that. So that'll be going in my rig. Might have to lay some paint on there, make it look a little bit more realistic, but I got my gun. I mean, there's guys like Ryan Luna. They're printing out 3D batteries. You have uh, scale pop bottles. I mean, here's a good idea, a little bucket. This is made from uh, Dremel discs, just a Dremel disc and you put a little handle on it with some mechanics wire and away you go. Got some homemade bungees here. It looks like, again, mechanics wire and some, uh, don't tell your wife, but, or your girlfriend. And uh, steal some of her elastic bands for her hair. They work perfect. I mean, there's some pink ones there, so they're clearly elastic bands for the hair. You got uh, these, I mean, obviously you're not going to use these, but these are the scale wenches, you know, from, from ProLine or Yeah Racing. They look pretty much identical. But, uh, you know, just toss that in the back of your rig as a backup wench. Many companies make scale items if you want to buy them. But uh, the cheapest way is if you want to just make them. Again, a bundle of sticks. I, I have some other mentionables in there. There's some illegal paraphernalia that it looks like. Just different stuff. Um... But definitely uh, put your put your mind to it if you want to make some scale items. I mean, one part of the G6 nowadays is the fact that there's going to be a scale contest. So you take your rig, like my Toyota here, and you enter the scale contest. Okay, sweet. Now it's got to be one you're going to run all day. Because you can't win if you're just going to show it in the scale contest and go put it back on a shelf somewhere. It doesn't quite work like that. you got to actually take the rig, and that's what you're running all day. So... I'll be entering in this one, and this is what I'm running all day. Like I said in my last video, it's not like I'm going to run the drifter or my boat. Yeah, I don't got anything else to run. It's kind of sad. Don't forget stuff like pull pals. This is the uh, the scalar fab one. I, I the name's escaping me right now. Everybody has different ones with different names. I have one by. Uh, a good friend of mine here at the Rock Beach Customs, I have one of his. It's a little smaller, a little bit more scale. You, you, it all depends on what you want to run. 
stuff like your ARB snatch block. These are actually really handy. That's why I have my setup like this. I hook my, my wire through there or my, my line through there, hook us on my snatch block and away I go. Now I've got double the power pulling on my winch. But these are all stuff that counts as scale items. Look, I got a tow rope there and I have a, a, a pull pal. I'm losing my mind. Other than that, I think that's it. So definitely try to make up some scale items. I mean, I have everything from a homemade axle to a cooler in the back, all different stuff. Give it a try, think outside the box, make some scale items, and uh, you never know. You might be able to win something pretty slick. So I guess that's about it. Hope to see you at the G6. I might make a video next week before it. I don't know. It all depends on time and exactly what's going down. So if not, uh, just like, subscribe, and share. I mean, follow along. I'll be posting up an actual video from the G6. And uh, don't forget to check me out on Facebook. Um, it's Tim Bluer, aka VS Customs. And I also have an Instagram page. It's VS underscore Customs. Other than that, uh, hope to see you out there. Cheers. Thank you.